goes on right into the next song on the record, you know, but I'm not playing the record as it works out. Hello, Andy Crowder. How are you? Good morning. I'm liking the intro music today. What's going on with the uh, city of West Burlington today? I know there was no meeting, right? Yeah, no meeting. And if I if you hear a bunch of beeps in the background, the public works guys are out uh, working on some alleys this morning, and I'm hearing them around the house. Huh. What are they doing to alleys? Uh, it looks like they're repouring some gravel, but I know we've we set aside quite a bit of money this year to actually go in and, and do quite a bit of work on the alleys. We're going to hopefully get redone about two-thirds of the town this year, and we've, we've set aside money in the budget for future years to, to do basically a third of the town every year. So hopefully getting a lot of alley work done here in the future. Are the alleys in West Burlington predominantly gravel? They are, and we just haven't upkeep those very well minus you know filling in what issues have been there there hasn't really been a plan but that's something we did address actually last year in the budget but then with covid we kind of put it off one year uh, just to make sure where we were at with revenues but we're doing pretty good on that so we're going to start in on alleys i don't mean this to sound as dumb as it's going to sound but what's the purpose of alleys (laughs) well a lot of people have you know utilities back there um, so then you're, you're hauling your trash out there. Uh, a lot of driveways are going back into the alleys. Um, obviously, a lot of new developments don't have them. They've got the, right. the driveway going out to the street. But a lot of our, our older part of town have the alleys. And no place I've ever lived has had alleys except for here. But even here, I don't have an alley at my house. So I don't know. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I know it's a pain in the ass for trash trucks, isn't it? Unless, unless they go all the way through from one street to the next. Yeah, and we actually had some discussion about making, because the trash trucks uh, make the alleys, um, it puts a lot of weight on the alleys, and so it actually degrades them faster than if they were using the street. So we did have some discussion about forcing everything onto the street and not using the alley, but uh, we figured we'd get a lot of pushback from people that that's the way they do it, and they don't want to drag it all the way around to the front, and so we're Mm -hmm. not doing that right now, but... Uh, that was part of the discussion. Yeah, people hate change, that's for sure. Yep. Uh, as long as we're talking about trash, tell me about yard waste. Now's the time. Yeah. Just wanted to set a reminder out there for, for people that we did close the drop-off out at the city shops for yard waste. and We had to do that. We're building a new water tower out there, um, and this would be within the fall range of that work. Um, so that, that is coming back at some point. We're hoping next year we are talking about maybe a temporary site in the fall just for the leaves. Um, but right now you do have to take it out to the dump, um, which is just past the city shops out there, so not, not too much further. Can you burn your leaves in West Burlington? Oh, that's a good question, and I don't know the answer to that one off the top of my head. My right. guess is yes, but there's certain hours and times. Yeah, and this is probably not the time, I think. Uh, spring cleanup is the time, though, coming up next month, right? Yep. Uh, Wednesday, April 28th is the day. You can set things out anytime past the 18th of April. Um, quick reminder on things that you can put out. Uh, pretty important because there's a lot of things we won't take. So you can set out appliances, furniture, carpet, mattresses, uh, big items like swimming pools, and then metal and steel can be set out. Um, but things that, um, you know, TV monitors, um, computer monitors, those kind of things, anything with hazardous materials, liquids, paints, batteries, um, tires, yard waste, demolition materials, um, clothes, cardboards, and, and books, those kind of things cannot be set out. And one other reminder, don't stack the items. Uh, make it easy for uh, the people to see everything that's out there and kind of spread it out. Um, it seems kind of odd. What what do you mean? So there's a 10 day period that you can put stuff out April 18th to 28th. That's correct. Yep. And as you'll see, there's a lot of people that go around and pick through those items and see what they can have to to take out and recycle, especially for metal and steel. Um, so yeah, there's 10 days you can get it done. So if you've got to do it the week before, you know, you're free, you're, you're, you're free the week before, but not that week. You got some time to set it out. Right, right, right. All right, what else? Uh, Coming up on uh, summer, kids will be out of school. The city, I understand, is taking applications for temporary summer workers. Uh, The county announced yesterday they're going to start mowing this week. 
and you're going to start mowing, right? Yeah, we will have a couple positions open, again, mowing and trimming, painting, those kind of thing, out, outdoor maintenance. Um, you can apply up at City Hall or go to westburlington.org. Um, I wouldn't be surprised as well. The, the YMCA runs our pool. I wouldn't be surprised if they're looking for lifeguards as well, but we're not in charge of that one. Uh, and I saw on Agency Street, there's the thing that tells you how fast you're going. I suppose that's in an effort to tell us that the new speed limit is in effect. <laughs> It is, and it's a reminder, it's 35 miles an hour out there, and our police are giving a lot of warnings right now, but we're seeing a lot of people still going over 50, which which would have been even over the previous speed limit. So uh, there's been quite a few tickets handed out out there, so please remember that has changed, 35 miles an hour, and just slow down a little bit. West of Walmart, yeah. Correct. Uh, Fourth of July planning, how's that going? Oh, it's busy. I tell you what, that's a lot of work. My dad did a ton of work putting that event together, I'll tell you that. And you've got uh, things that you need to get done now, even though it's months off, uh, like lining up groups that want to sell tickets as a fundraiser. How does that work? Yeah, that's my biggest thing right now. And you just want to stop up to City Hall, and we're going to have everything online here shortly as well. I'm just kind of going through the forms right at the moment. Um, but we're looking for groups that want to sell raffle tickets. Uh, raffle tickets will be $2. Your group gets to keep $1 of that, and a dollar goes to the fireworks. Um, pretty much anybody can do it. Come up and sell them. It's a great fundraiser. We have a lot of people that uh, make you know, 1000 to 1500 bucks every year for the organization doing that. Also got some other opportunities if you want to come up and sell food that day or you want to run some event or a dunk take or duck races or you know, whatever you want to do that day, I'm open to it. So give me a call, and, and uh, we'll see where you fit in. That's a pretty good deal now you think about that. You're a Cub Scout troop or something, and you want to sell. You sell 1,000 of those tickets. you got got 1,000 bucks your, your cut, right? That's correct. And I have a group that uh, the West Burlington High School Alumni Association, we make um, somewhere between eleven to 1400 every year with our sales. And we use that money to fund two scholarships every year for West Burlington seniors. Um, it's a pretty easy deal, and, and the raffle prizes are always really good, so it's pretty easy to sell tickets. Yeah, sell themselves pretty much. All right, real estate hat switcheroo. Yeah. Uh, you had a West Burlington listing, which is pretty rare this week, right? A new one? I did. It lasted all of about 20 seconds. So. <laughs> <laughs> what do you yeah, mean? I didn't even, I didn't even have the, the sign really up in the yard uh, very very fast there before it was sold so 206 swan and west burlington um really honestly I, I hit go on the uh on the listing had it online and i would say literally within minutes i had an offer a uh, person never walked in the house um so that's how fast real estate's going right now and especially in west burlington and the small towns um they're they're just flying off and we're all competing to try to be the first one in so do you have other West Burlington properties? I know they're rare. You know, there's there's a rule in real estate where I can't be advertising listings that are coming. And, and so let me say that we have lots of listings coming, and, and lots of realtors do. And so if you're interested, um, you need to be with a real estate agent right now because right. we're really, you know, we're selling the stuff that's coming up. Um, the ones that are on the market right now that you're seeing on Realtor.com and places like that, those are sold. So you need to be working with an agent right now. Don't care if it's me or somebody else. If you want to buy a house, you need to be working with an agent in our area because the homes are going way too fast. So they get with you at andycrowner.com and they say, I want a three-bedroom, two-bath in this general area in West Burlington or Burlington or wherever you want to be ahead of time. You don't wait until you find something in that because by then it's too late. That's correct. And then when we find it, you need to be ready to pull the trigger. So you need need to make sure you're talking to a lender, you're getting pre-approved for your loan uh, if you're taking one out. And then when the dream home comes, you got to be able to jump on it right away because they're not making another one right now. Um, and we have a system that emails you out as soon as a home that meets your specs um, gets listed on the market. But then I tell you what, one of the values of going with Remax right now, having well, we're about, you know, about 17 really good agents in there right now. Is, is That place is like a stock trading floor. People hollering out, hey, I need a three-bedroom, two-bath in this town. And 
Um, what do you got coming up? And they're searching through their clients, the people they've talked to, and we're matching up that way even before stuff ever gets on the market. So the way to look at Andy Crowner is your inside guy. He's going to know before anyone knows, and you'll get the call quickest or get the notification quickest and give you the best shot at it. That's a pretty good thing, and you can do all that at your website, right? That's correct. Yeah, and that's the name of the game. I want you to be the first one in. Uh, so you got the first opportunity at the house before other people get in there. On the other side of the coin, as I fixed my garage door the other day, I thought, and oh, no, I'm getting tired of this. You know, just it's always something. It, it's it's just little stupid stuff. Uh, and I dream about the day when I sell that uh, that um, home, <laughs> that falling down home that I live in. Um, uh, and and what all is the process by which a person should, like, give me a time frame. What do I need to start doing ahead of, obviously I can't sell it now. I don't even, I don't know what I do. I mean, I got a, you know, I got all these 30 years worth of living there, stuff there. So how's the right way to do it? No, I, I think the best way to do it is to get a real estate agent involved early. And, and I say that because a lot of people start, uh, making changes to the home or thinking they need to update things that in the end really doesn't make them back any money. Um, so even if you're not thinking of listing for the next six to 12 months, I would, I would bring an agent in say, Hey, look, I'm interested in the future. Could you come through and give me some tips on what I need to do to be ready to sell? And we're all happy to do that. And I go do that most days for clients and just walk through and say, Hey, you know, all I would do is declutter the place or pack up some stuff and put it in the garage or occasionally, like on the last house I listed, there was an area that, you know, we're coming into spring and it was mud. And I said, man, if you could just put it in some mulch right here, I think it would look a lot better. And that cost, you know, right. five, 30 bucks for them to get done, but it made a big improvement. Right, right, right. AndyCrowner.com is how you do that. Uh, they need houses over the next uh, six to 12 months. They've got buyers already lined up and signed up, as we already mentioned to you. Um, yeah, we really need homes in some of the smaller towns. I, I've mentioned West Burlington. It's going really fast. We've only got five homes today in West Burlington for sale. Uh, but as you go into the other small towns in the area, it's, it's even worse. So there's four in Danville, zero in Middletown, two in New London, uh, one in Minneapolis. And then as you go to Fort Madison and Mount Pleasant, it doesn't get much better. There's there's 24 in Fort Madison and 13 in Mount Pleasant. So the whole area is pretty starved for... In all of Mount Pleasant, there's only 13? Wow. Yeah, only 13. Hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, all right. We're sitting a little over 100 here in Burlington. But, uh, yeah, you get out to Mount Pleasant, Fort Madison, there's just hardly anything. What have I left out? I wanted to mention uh, in that last COVID uh, relief... Um, they did extend the moratorium on eviction until June 30th. Um, and that that has been done before, but then it was challenged in the courts. Um, but that has passed uh, through the courts now. So that is in effect. And upheld, it, right? It was upheld. That's correct. Yeah. So, so June 30th is now the eviction date on that. And who knows? I don't, I don't know if we'll see that pushed out again. I wouldn't be too surprised, but, uh, yeah, that keeps pushing out more and more. Right, right, right. AndyCrowner.com is the website. He's also all over Facebook if you uh, search Andy Crowner. Probably Instagram, right? I think, I, yeah, Instagram, Andy Crowner? Yeah, pretty much everywhere. Instagram, even got a little TikTok thing where I put out videos on that as well. Gets quite a few views, which I'm surprised of, but uh, people like to look at houses on there too. Probably the Chinese looking at that one. Just guessing. <laughs> They're going to take over West Burlington. Yeah. All right, Mr. Crowner, thank you so much for the time today. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for having me. You have a great week. You too. Bye-bye.